Lord Jesus, you give us peace to all people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you try to spread equality for all people. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the way of love, loving one another and all people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, the Father. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, you govern all things, both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the pleading of your people. And to be so peace in our times, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Six hundred years before the birth of Jesus, God's chosen people lost their faith in God, deciding that it was better to put their trust in earthly kings. So God punished them, making them slaves in a foreign land, and their city of Jerusalem was raised. And so, after time had passed, God sent the prophet Isaiah to announce to them that they had been forgiven and their enslavement had ended. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet until her vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication and all the kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall people call you forsaken. Or your land desolate. You shall be called my delight. And your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall God rejoice in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaiming his marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim his marvelous seeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Proclaim his marvelous seeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations. 
among all people, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim his marvelous deeds to all the nations. Give to the Lord your families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Proclaim his marvelous seeds to all the nations. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. <coughs> Many years after Jesus had ascended into heaven, St. Paul preached and founded new churches. <coughs> One of these churches was established in the city of Corinth, where many people joined. They strove to make it a strong, faithful church, and today's second reading comes from Paul's letter, offering them encouragement. Brothers and sisters, there are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. To one is given through the Spirit the expression of wisdom. To another, the expression of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another, mighty deeds. To another, prophecy. To another, Discernment of the Spirit. To another prophecy. To another varieties of tongues. To another interpretation of the tongues. But one and the same Spirit produces all of these. distributing them individually to each person as he wishes. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. In last week's Gospel story, we read how John the Baptist was baptized by Jesus. <coughs> his baptism was a sign that Jesus was ready to begin his work for God. However, he did not begin preaching or performing miracles <coughs> at the beginning of his ministry. Today's gospel reading is focused on when Jesus decided to reveal himself. There was a wedding feast at Cana in Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there. For the Jewish ceremonial washing. Each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water. So they filled them. Then he told them, Draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine without knowing where it came from, although the servers who had drawn the water knew, The head waiter called the bridegroom. And said to him, 
Everyone serves good wine first. And then when the people have drunk freely, an, an inferior one served. But you saved the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his sons at Cana in Galilee. And so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. Later, his mother and Jesus and his followers went to Capernaum that day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Show their support and love. Right. People are invited to the party and the reception and they want to support the couple because they love them. So, love, that kind, is a friend, a love of friends, good friends, people who are loving these friends, supporting them. That's love. How do you show love? Through support. Now, I notice another kind of love in the gospel. Two people are more than friends. Who? Mary and Jesus, her son. Have the kind of have a different kind of love. Really, it's a little bit different than the friend love. Mother loves the son, and how does she show that? How does a mother show love to her children? Taking care of them. 
show other people, show other people, support. Mom's responsibility is to show the love of teach, teach, what showing the children what they must do, what's right and wrong, how to how to help people. Mary said to Jesus, their wine is gone. There's no more wine. And Jesus said, so, so, why are you telling me? What did Mary do? He said, Mary still is, is in a way, is still teaching Jesus. Mary said, you need to go and help. Mary showed her love by guiding and helping. That's a mother and a father's responsibility to love their children. How? By teaching them and guiding them and showing them. Friends' love is more support. Mothers' love to, towards children is showing them the right way. Now there's one more kind of love. It's not obvious. One more kind of love in this story. A wedding. You don't know who the couple is in this story. We don't know that. But obviously, there are two people who love each other in that wedding feast. It's a wedding. It's a marriage. That's another kind of love. Jesus supports the friends. Mary loves her son. And the man and woman love each other. Now, this is why. Show love in many different ways, that's true, but What's a special kind of love for a husband and wife? How do they show each other love? <coughs> All people need to serve, but there's a special kind of love in a marriage. They have children, faith, the promise, promise. They give each other a special promise, a vow. How do they show that love. It's a love that supports, with for guidance, and love with a promise. Husband and wife have a special love with a promise. How do they show love? How do they show this special love for them? Yes, yeah, yeah. We make love. That's a husband and wife's special way to show love. It's obvious, right? I mean, of course, of course, a husband and wife. That's their way to show love for each other, but that's their special way. I do not have that promise to a It means I do not have sex. Why? There's no promise involved. No promise. That kind of love, God wants the husband and wife to show me that they love each other. With that strong promise, that's a special kind of love. And for husband and wife, it's for husband and wife only. Now some people think, oh, oh, sex, the sex can just happen anytime. It doesn't matter if you're married. <coughs> no. Clearly, I want everyone clearly to know, sex 
for husband and wife only. Period. That's it. That's what we believe. And God, that's the way God wants it. Other people, maybe they think that God doesn't care and he won't criticize That's their business. But for us, we Catholic people, we are followers of Jesus. We, and we believe that that's what Jesus wants. Other people, that God will take care of them. Okay, that's not our business. We, sometimes people, girls and boys, oh, well, they, they're, they're pregnant as they become pregnant and baby is born. Not yet, though. Pregnancy and a birth is not bad. What's bad is sex when people are not married. Pregnancy is normal. But that is wrong. People say, oh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm not married. Forgive me. I had a baby, but I'm not, I wasn't yet married. Pregnancy is not a sin. What's the sin? Sex without marriage. That's the sin. For all the world, they're trying to convince you with the other idea. They will try to convince you. But if we believe and follow Jesus and obey Jesus, and try to love as he did. Jesus showed his love to us in the first story. The husband and wife. Jesus is like our husband. We, the church, he promises to us that we accept his We follow Jesus, and if we believe, as Jesus is solid, that we will go to heaven with Jesus. How? Through our faith. So now we have this question. You know, do you believe in God, the Almighty Father, maker of heaven and earth? Do you believe? Yes, we believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, born of the Virgin Mary? Suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven, sits at the right hand of the Father. Do you believe? Yes, we believe. You believe the Holy Spirit was sent here as to give our gifts and our skill for us to establish this church. Do you believe? Yes, we believe. The God who established this Holy Catholic Church is the communion of saints throughout the world, and here, members here and members of the church who have passed away, we're still connected. And that God forgives our sin always. And when our body, when we die, and we have, if we have died, we will rise again, the same as Jesus, then we will be together with Jesus and live forever. Do you believe? Yes, we believe. That's our faith. And then we thank God for giving us our faith. Because he loved us. Now, we love all people. But we show our love how? 
we pray for you. For all of us as apostles of Jesus, that we will always trust in him. He will help. He will help us always. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For all people that may have times of difficulty and have given up and feel they can't go on. We pray that God gives them comfort, strength, and solace. We pray for the Lord. The Lord is our prayer. For people who are ill, especially for Anthony and Blue, and for those who can't be with us for being gay. I pray for all the poor who are ill without medicine. And I pray for my mom who had lupus and has a cold also. I pray for people who are sick. I pray for my brother who is ill. I pray for my friend who is ill. Hope he gets stronger soon. I pray for my son who is ill with a cold and a cough. Hope you will get strength soon. I pray for my grandmother. I hope she will improve and get healthy. I pray for my, that my back gets better. For all of these prayers. For all who are sick, that God shows them grace and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For people who have recently died. For my friend, his father passed away last week on Sunday. I pray for my mother. Five years, I pray for him. For my uncle who passed away. And my dad. I pray for people who have died. for Martin Luther King and who people who have died after that struggle. I pray for my friend funeral on Tuesday. And recently on Friday, someone else, a friend, passed away. Josie. And his funeral was already ready. For Jose, he passed away recently. On Monday. Monday will be a June. Tuesday will be the burial. I hope he has peace in heaven. All of these prayers. For all who have died recently, that God leads them home to heaven. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayers. Now, please add your additional prayers. And do I pray for my brother and his family, the, the situation will improve. I pray for all to continue to forgive and love and support each other. I pray for my sister who was recently in an accident. I pray she feels better. No school tomorrow, I'm excited about that. I pray for my husband. I pray for my daughter who's flying to New York for school. I pray for my family, especially my daughter. I pray for, on Friday, on Friday, stepping on, people will be promoted and will fly off for two weeks. I'm excited about this. For my 
friend, Louise, who's out of the hospital and home and getting healthier. I pray for I pray for my family. Thank God for my family flying back from Mexico safely. That's her. I pray for my sister's friend. I pray, just before you guys, I pray for her. All of these prayers, all of these prayers, we offer them to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we know that we are precious to you. And through your Son, who has saved us and teaches us uh, for prayers that we pray for each other, we ask that you accept all of these petitions in Jesus' name, our Lord. Amen. Now please open up your heart to support our church. Thank you, everyone. Thank mm -hmm. you.